just generally, I just don't feel good. It's not something you can really describe, it's just you don't feel right. If it's not treated immediately, um, it does become a bigger, bigger problem. It definitely takes a toll on you, whether you're just dealing with it or you have it. Hearing it was, was half the battle, and the other half was watching what the ailment actually did to her physically. Um, out in nature, you know, this is a disease that we get when we go outside. When someone is that, in that much pain, there's, there's not really a lot you can say. I'm afraid that I'm never going to be healthy. I, it's been nine years, I was 11, I'm uh, almost 20 now. Uh, I don't know what it feels like to be healthy anymore. Like Lyme disease, when you think about it, it doesn't sound like too bad of a thing. But when you look it up, it's really serious. And it's been expanding its range quite dramatically in the 30 years or so since its initial discovery. I think I was on the dosage equivalent to that of a 300 pound guy when I was like 14. <laughs> this is the cure, this is the answer, this is the remedy. Um, any number of which can be inconclusive. What did you know about Lyme disease? Nothing. I had absolutely no idea what Lyme disease was when he told me. When I was bitten, I really, I didn't know enough about it. People just don't understand how bad it can actually get, and that's what bothers me the most, I'd say.